welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. So we just got back from traveling abroad, thus the extreme tan. I will be putting together a travel vlog for you guys so you can see how easy it was to eat plant-based while we were traveling abroad and to see some of the fun things we did. So yeah, welcome to another day where I just show you how simply I eat. I will also be answering a bunch of your guys' questions in this video because I can no longer answer them all individually. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for all the love you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate you. And remember you can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki or on Facebook at the Plantiful Kiki page as well. I post my daily meals there to give you guys inspiration. Sometimes we need help remembering how to keep it simple. It sounds stupid, but we tend to overcomplicate things, so it helps you guys to see, again, how simply you can eat. So if you want more food inspiration and lifestyle inspiration, I post all of our travel pictures and videos on our stories there, and yeah, it's fun. Check me out. I just make the beans and rice one time and the tomate frito and I will put the video link where I show you guys how to make all of this food in the description box below. It's super simple. I make it and then we eat this food for like the next four days. Once the kids are tired of having the whole beans, then I just blend them up and it makes like this creamy, delicious refried bean without the extra step of refrying them or having to add any fat and they will basically just put the same toppings on a baked corn tortilla and have tostadas. Mm, this is like my third helping. Oh, so good. Except I'm out of tomate frito now and I don't have any more in the freezer so I'm gonna have to make some more. And on that note, I do want to share with you guys the somewhat controversial ingredient that I do put in my beans and soups and tomate frito. It is a little controversial in the comment section of that video, so I wanted to go over it with you guys. So this is an all-natural vegetable bouillon, and it's by Knorr, K-N-O-R-R. And when you look on the back, it says that it's got zero fat. So no fat and the serving size is one teaspoon. It's all natural vegetables, but in the ingredients, it does say that it has palm oil. Now I hadn't caught that because I basically just skimmed through it, saw that it is pretty clean and that it had no fat. With that said, a lot of people have a problem using this product because it has palm oil in the ingredient list even though it's in a really small amount, it's not even measurable. I don't have a problem with it. That we eat so clean and so healthy, this gives soup and tomate frito and our beans so much flavor that my kids will not eat those things without it being seasoned with this. So for me and my family, I have chosen to use this product. I'm okay with it. You can get it in the regular grocery store. The other bouillons that I looked at in the natural food stores were one, like unaffordable, so expensive, like $5 for like six little cubes. And for one teaspoon, those had two and a half to five grams of fat. So this one I get online, but I've also seen it at Walmart, but yeah. You guys decide what's good for you. If you don't want to use this, then you can try seasoning your food with garlic and onion powder and salt if you use it, because this does have salt. We are not completely salt free. So you guys decide what's good for you. I'm okay with it. It hasn't slowed down my weight loss at all. It hasn't affected my lab work, none of it. And again, if it gets my kids to enjoy their beans and soups. I'm all for it. Okay, Q&A time. So the most popular question I receive has to do with weight loss. Now, if you've spent any amount of time on my channel, you know that I do not like 
the focus of this journey to be about the skinny. I prefer for everybody to focus on overall health. I feel like when you're focused on being skinnier, it can put you in a really antagonistic relationship with yourself. Whereas if you approach this from a place of wanting to be healthy and live a long, happy life, that will move you further than just wanting to be skinnier. With that said, I understand that weight loss is an important part of most people's health journey. I was extremely overweight, I needed to lose weight, I just didn't make it my focus. I made health my focus and I knew that my weight would eventually fall into place and it did. Okay, so the question I receive a lot is do I count calories or track macros or do any form of portion control? And the answer is no. I have not counted calories since my 20s Never will I count calories again. And I actually had to look up what tracking macros was because I didn't know. So no, I don't do that. And portion control, no, I do not control portions. I will link the video in the description box where I explain how to lose weight this way in, a, in one video where you can see all of that information. But in a nutshell, I basically stopped eating processed uh, plant-based foods and went to a whole food plant-based diet. And as Dr. McDougall outlines in his book, The Starch Solution, I started serving myself with my plate full of half vegetables and then half starches of my choice. And every time I'd go back for seconds or thirds, I did the same thing and my weight kept falling off until now where I'm weight stable. And I still, for the most part, eat that way just out of habit, but there's also a lot of times when I just eat a plate of potatoes and my weight has not gone up, so. Okay, the other question I receive a lot, how to lose weight if they've already been whole food plant-based for a long time and they are just not losing any weight. Again, I will refer you back to that video that I'm gonna link in the description box because there I explain the things to tweak. You need to be fat-free during the weight loss phase and you have to do your plate half non-starchy vegetables and half starches and you should see weight loss. I don't think people realize that even a small amount of fat can really sabotage your weight loss. I am genetically built to be stockier. The Mayan people are just a shorter, stockier group. I call it PTB, which is prone to barrel. So I have to eat a very clean, low fat diet. My husband is not prone to barrel. He is prone to string bean. So he can still enjoy more avocado, nuts, seeds, and refined foods like whole grain pastas and breads than I can. If I were to eat those things consistently again, I would gain weight. So I have to stick to a very whole food, low fat diet. And again, you're only cutting out fat completely for the weight loss phase. Once you're done, then you should add those things back in, in moderation and see how your body does. Your body is made to handle some rich foods here and there, just not every day on everything. I will also link in the description box my favorite lecture on how to lose weight without losing your mind by Dr. Doug Lyle. That is a great overall view of how to do this, why it works, and I will also link a lecture on calorie density by Jeff Novick. And I love that because he explains whole food, plant-based eating, and why you don't have to count calories or restrict portions when eating this way and you will see weight loss.
have it. These hash browns are so delicious. If you have an air fryer, they come out even crispier in the air fryer. I'm of course going to dip them in some ketchup and I will eat probably eight of them and another bowl of salad. All right guys, so my nighttime snack has actually changed from frozen cherries. Never thought that would happen, but it has. And it is now frozen pineapple. I have got to tell you, this is so stinking delicious. And this is also what my kids grab for dessert. So we only do something with sugar in it, like on Fridays or Saturdays, I'll make like some pudding or some vegan brownies, but during the week, if they want just a little something sweet after dinner, then they can have frozen fruit and it is really good. They adore it. They love putting sprinkles on theirs and so do I. It's better than having ice cream. I know sprinkles have a little sugar in them, but it adds crunch to the pineapple and it's really good. So try it with or without sprinkles. It is delicious. And yes, I'm eating this right before bed. I always have a snack. I'm a night snacker. I can't help it. All right guys, so that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Real quick, I get a lot of requests. You guys are asking me for a makeup video, which I am more than happy to do, but I need you guys to tell me what you're looking for. Are you just wanting to see the products that I use? Or are you actually wanting to see me apply it? I should warn you, I am not a beauty expert at all. I just kinda put it on there and my makeup philosophy is like my food philosophy simple is better. So yeah, let me know what you guys are looking for. Remember to keep this journey about health and not about the skinny. You are beautiful. Never stop believing in your potential to grow and change. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.